All right. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. So it's been a long time, okay, uh, since I last saw all of you. So uh, hi, welcome. So ju just tell me if the audio is a little bit too loud. Okay, I need to adjust a little bit. All right, I need to adjust the volume a little bit right here. Okay, so just tell me if the volume is a little bit too loud. All right. Now, uh, so welcome again. So well, uh, the, the MCO is extended again and again and again. So we have I have not seen you guys for a very long time. Okay, and I hope all of you are doing well. Now, uh, that being said, okay, that being said, the so. We are not going to see each other for at least, okay, for at least another two weeks, okay, uh, next two weeks, all right. Uh, there's a very big possibility that you will get extended again, all right. You, uh, th there are speculations, la, but let's wait for the Prime Minister's announcement, all right. If it gets extended, okay, if it gets extended, then definitely we're going to do a lot of changes uh, with regards to your final exam and whatnot, all right. But right now, today, okay, I'm going to be teaching you something that is very, very, very important that I feel that it is best if I teach you in class but since I have no time and then none of us have any more time so I might as well do it online that's why this time today I need you guys to like really pay attention to whatever it is that I'm going to say and I'm going to teach and if you have any questions please ask me, okay? And then if you're doing this on your laptop, okay, on the chat box on your right, or if you're doing this on the mobile chat box on down below, all right, please ask me if you have any questions or whatsoever, all right? Today, I'm also going to be telling you the... Uh, the mechanics of di of this Thursday's test. Okay, this Thursday, you guys are going to have an online listening test. Okay, I'm going to be telling you what to do, how to do it, and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to be giving you guys a few uh, online practices, all right, on your WhatsApp group. Okay, I've created the, the, the system online. Okay, I've tested it out over the past few days. Uh, it's such a pain, all right? I have to create like YouTube videos and whatnot, put the audio into YouTube, upload it, it was such a pain. All right, that's why I got delayed again and again. All right, so I finally got the system up. All right, I'm going to be giving you guys the first or a few practice questions to test for you guys to do. All right, so you guys get yourself familiarized with the system and this Thursday's test is going to be smooth. All right, so I'm also going to be giving you your second assignment, which is about 30% today as well. All right, so uh, if let's say your friends are not here, all right, please tell them, message them on WhatsApp, your call them ask them to join the uh, the, the live uh, the live right now so at least I can answer all of the questions but if you are not watching this live right now it's okay all right you guys can always view the playbacks all right the recorded playbacks before okay uh, before I begin okay I hope all of you have downloaded the the documents or the, the one that I put on whatsapp the four p the few PDF files that I put on whatsapp all right, download it and you're going to need it for today, all right? Because today, we are going to do this academic writing, all right? Which is going to be a bit tough, all right? Which is going to be a bit tough. This is best taught in class, actually. The uh, In class, I can put you into your groups and then I can demo right in front of you guys, show you how to do everything. But since we have no choice because of the MCO, we just have to do, do this online, all right? So before I begin, any questions? Any questions you want to ask me? The audio okay? Everything okay? Am I too loud? Am I too soft? Remember to check box down below or to the right. Okay, any questions you want to ask me? Nope? Nope? Okay. Uh, it's okay. Okay. If you have any questions, just put it there on the chat. Okay. I will respond as I go along. All right. So today's topic is going to be on academic writing. Okay. Why is academic writing important? Okay. Why is it so important? Because academic writing... It is a permanent record of what has been stated on paper. Whatever that you write, okay, for your assignment, for this one is especially true if you're going to VU. Uh, if you're going for your degree studies, all right, for your VU, everything that you put in your assignment is going to be a permanent record of who you are, okay, because it's going to be uploaded to VU Collaborate, all right. Uh, the ILEARN system that VU uses is VU Collaborate. So every time you do your assignment, you upload it online, all right, it's going to be a permanent record as to who you are, how you are as a student. So even if you graduated, after you graduate, okay, if people just Google search your name, you'll be able to find your assignment. All right, imagine if you were to copy paste, if you were to copy other people's assignment, all right, and then you put it up there and claim as your own, all right? Then when you go out to work, when people look for your name, then you will say that, hey, 
this person, uh, this person plagiarized. Okay, this person copied and pasted from another person's work. Okay, if they, this person can lie, okay, and uh, and say that and claim somebody else's work as his or her own, okay, can this person be trusted in business? All right, so most probably not. Okay, and then it's a huge crime, uh, okay, in the academic world, in the university. Okay, the university that I was from, if let's say you copy and paste uh, the internet, okay, or whatnot for your assignment, you will get expelled. Okay, they will actually kick you out of the university. Suddenly, they will give you a few warnings here and there. Most likely, you will fail the paper. All right, but uh, as to kick you out, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, so far, okay, those people who plagiarized my assignment were given another chance to redo. All right, so in order to avoid these things from happening to you when you go over to your university, when you go to start your degree in July, all right, I'm going to be teaching you how to cite things properly. I'm going to be teaching you how to Okay, do academic writing properly, how to quote things properly, how to do referencing properly. All right? Okay, so that is a permanent record and scientific and literature knowledge in which contributes towards learning in educational institutions. All right, this thing, okay, whatever that you write is going to be set in stone in the scientific and literature knowledge. Literature here is not like Shakespeare poems or uh, short stories or whatnot, no. Literature is anything printed on books, on journals, whatnot. Everything is going to be set in stone. That's why it's going to be very important. And plagiarism is strictly a uh, no. Okay, now what is plagiarism? Okay, if you have never been through your diploma, uh, if you've never been through diploma studies beforehand, you don't know what is plagiarism. All right, now plagiarism is actually simply means stealing. Okay, later I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be uh, telling you more on plagiarism. So it must be structured constructively. That means there must have a it must follow a very strict rule. Okay, and it must be written with readers or audiences in mind. Okay, when you write, okay, when you write your assignment and whatnot, it must be written with the audience, whoever reads your paper in mind. Okay, so like in your assignment, who's gonna read it? Me. All right, that's why you have to write it so that I will be able to understand you. Okay, so far so good. Any questions? If any questions, chat box on the right, chat box down below, all right? So now, what is plagiarism? Now, plagiarism, it's simply, okay, it's simply translated in, literally translates, translates into stealing someone else's intellectual property. Now, if let's say I were to do this, if let's say you, uh, I ask you to go and find, uh, Cats, information about cats, and then you Google, okay, you Google cats. After that, you say that, I like, whatever that I asked you guys to do in class before this, okay, I asked you guys to uh, research uh, certain things, what, uh, the, the cultures, okay, the cultures of UK, US, all right, different companies, remember last time in class, okay, and then you guys just find a website and then just write everything that you find in the website into that piece of paper, am I right? That is actually wrong. Okay, that is plagiarism because you're literally copy and pasting someone else's idea. Okay, so you say that Google has this, Facebook has this. Okay, the, remember we talked about offices, the way that they work, the working culture over there. All right, so even though it's true, but did you come up with the information? Did the information come from you, from your own head, from your own knowledge? No. Okay, the answer is no. You literally took someone else's idea and put it as your own. Okay, it's as if you write the idea. That is plagiarism. Okay, and then it's a very dangerous crime, okay, in the academic world. If you try to do that in your degree studies later on, if let's say I were to ask you to uh, look for economic benefits of economic benefits of capitalism, okay, after then you go and Google capitalism and whatnot, and you just copy and paste, all right everything that without changing any words, okay, without changing any words. So, it is still considered plagiarism, okay, it's still considered plagiarism. It's, it's the worst kind of plagiarism because you literally copy and paste. But, okay, if let's say, okay, if let's say this is the original sentence, cats are black. If this is the original sentence, okay, after that you say, say that, hey, uh, Mr. Joseph said we cannot copy and paste, so we, uh, so we need to replace the words, okay, but we need to, you say, okay, so you take a dictionary and then you take a dictionary or you go, go to Google and then you say cats. What's another word for cats? What's the word for cats? You Google and you find that, oh, felines. Okay, felines is another word for cats. So you replace, okay, so you replace the word cats with felines. Okay, are verb, you cannot change. So are what? Black. What is black? Black is the color, it's very dark, am I right? So you say are black in. Uh, sorry, dark in color. 
See, dark in color. Okay, then you say, hey, I didn't copy and paste, right? I changed it to my own words, but it's the All right, sad to say, this is still copy and paste. This is still considered plagiarism. Why? Cats are black. This idea, did it come from you? This idea, is from your brain? From your brain? From your brain? No. Okay, the idea came from someone else. Okay, someone else did a research and someone else found that cats are black. Okay, and then you, if you just see, just take the idea, okay, change it to your own words, make it your own, it is still called stealing because plagiarism is stealing someone else's intellectual property. Intellectual property is the head, the idea. So when you steal someone's idea, when you take someone's idea without quoting them, without giving them credit, that is plagiarism. All right, that is literally called copy and paste. And if you do that, you're going to get into a lot of trouble in your university studies later on. Okay, so today's lesson, okay, today's uh, lecture is going to be about how to avoid this. Okay, because most students didn't do it deliberately. Okay, most students is accidental. Okay, I can say that no, nobody purposely want to copy and paste. They don't know. All right, when uh, I, I tell my degree students, my VU students who took my paper, KMP, Knowledge Management, and I say that they, uh, they, this hit a very high turning index. Now, in your, degree, in your degree studies, whenever you upload your assignments online, okay, there is this system called Turnitin. Okay, Turnitin is actually an online system that checks your work, your assignment with the internet to see whether how similar are, there, uh, are they. Okay, so if let's say you copy and paste from somewhere else, this system will know. This system will search the internet for whatever it is that you copy and pasted from, and then they will come up with a percentage. All right, for 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 KMP, my subject, anything above twenty percent is un unacceptable. All right, it's it's a straight away fail. So I have students who hit like forty percent, forty five percent. Okay, before, so I told them, so I so I told them that oh, your plagiarism index is very high. Okay, uh, so can you redo? They say, uh, sir, I changed everything to my own words already. Uh. So I said, H -h why is it plagiarism? Then when I look at, look, look at it, then I found out that the ideas okay, don't come from them. Okay, they only took the article from the internet okay, and changed the words okay, and put it there. Okay, and put it in the assignment. No, this is wrong. Okay, because the idea didn't come from you. You must quote the original author. Okay, in it. I'll teach you how, don't worry. All right, so simply rewording the information you found is still considered plagiarism. Simply rearranging it, all right, or replacing different words with different words is still considered plagiarism because you took the idea. Okay, even though you change the words, the idea remained the same. Okay, and plagiarism means stealing someone else's idea. All right, and it's very, very easy to recognize, super easy to recognize. Okay, this is an actual student's work, huh? Okay, this is an actual student's work. Like, uh, like I told you guys before, bef before I worked in Sunway, I worked in Fairview International School. So I asked them to read a poem, okay, a, a poem, a vision by, uh, by Yeats, all right? So I asked them to write an essay on it, all right? So this is, the, th this is the one submitted to me, okay? My students submit this to me. Now, without putting it to turn it in, I know it's plagiarized. Why? Read this. Okay, without putting it to turn it in, I know they copy and paste from the internet. Why? Just take a look. It's very easy to detect. As a, as, as a lecturer, it's very, very easy to detect why is this plagiarism. Try to read this and see. Try to read this and see why I detected plagiarism. Anybody? Remember, check box down below or to the right. Why? This is copy and pasted before I even put it to Google, before I even uh, uh, Google it, before I even like put it in the system to detect this plagiarism index. I already know this is plagiarized. Why? Okay, look at it. Look at this sentence. Okay, one of Yeats' best poems is called A Vision. Okay, look at the sentence. One of Yeats' best Poems is called a vision. Simple sentence. Okay, we know we know a simple sentence already, right? So it's a simple sentence. The next sentence. It was written in 1925. Okay, and Yeats' poetry is really complicated. Okay, so take a look at the first three sentences. Huh? One of Yeats' best poems is called a vision. It was written in 1925. Yeats' poetry is really complicated. This three. Okay, this three. So these three are all simple sentences. They are very short. Okay, they are very short. And look at the next sentence. 
some critics think his work is supple and muscular in its rhythm. Okay, see how uh, supple and muscular in its rhythms. Okay, and harshly modernist, while others find his poems barren and weak in imaginative power. Wow. Suddenly, all the bombastic, all the nice, nice words, all the nice, nice vocabulary come out. Okay, all the complex sentences come out. Okay, even though this student, okay, my student, uh, in fact, doesn't have much vocabulary to begin with. So you see the first three sentences, okay, the first three sentences, even though grammar is perfect, but it's the vocabulary that pulled it away. Okay, because this student of mine, okay, uh, the vocabulary is quite narrow, okay, and the grammar range is not that good, all right? So when he submit this to me, when I read it, I already know this is not his work, okay, because of this third sentence right here. So just to test my theory, I copy and pasted this sentence into Google, and I got the exact same sentence. All right, so I told him that, uh, so, so I told him that I know what you did, okay, just go and redo it again. I don't want to fail you, just go and redo it again. Alright, so that is what uh, plagiarism is. Alright, not enough. Uh, okay, if you think you copy and paste and your lecturers wouldn't find out, you're wrong. Okay, your lecturers are more powerful than you think. Okay, we, we are, uh, even though we cannot, even though some of us might not be able to detect it straight away, okay, but they, we have a system to help us. All right, but for me, I'm able to see. Okay, I'm a walking turning in. I, I don't need the system. Just one look, I already know whether it is plagiarized or not. All right, so that is, uh, th this is an ex one of the examples. All right, so if you were to rewrite this, Okay, if you were to, re if quoted properly, it's supposed to be like this. One of these best poems, blah, 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 blah. This is the part that was plagiarized, am I right? This is the part that the, the, the student took from the internet. All right, and then, uh, the, the, uh, and then if let's say the student come and come to me and say that, sir, uh, th this one, I really don't know how to put it in my own words because it's too perfect. Then I would say give direct quotation. You see this thing right here? Okay, this whole thing. You see the opening and closing quotation right here? Okay, the opening and closing quotation. Okay, and then you put here Williamson, 1986, page 62. Okay, this shows, okay, that you took directly from there. This is the direct quotation. All right, so the first three sentences are your own. Fine. The next sentence, some critics think his work is supple and muscular in nature. All this stuff, you put quotation. Okay, you put quotation mark like this. Okay, meaning that it's not yours, okay, it's not your work, but you are quoting from someone else. You're acknowledging, you're telling other people, okay, that this person wrote this thing, all right? And it's Williamson who wrote this thing in 1986 in 67, all right? So on page 67. So a lot of plagiarism issues can be avoided by simply applying the right in-text citation and referencing methods. All right, even though you took someone else's word, word for word, you copy and paste someone else's work, okay, someone else's word, exactly. Okay, but if you put there direct quotation, you are safe, all right, because you are quoting properly. You're telling people, this is not yours, somebody else did it. Somebody else did the research. Somebody else said so, all right. So you're safe, you're covered. You're not stealing that person's idea. Instead, you're telling people that is what this person is saying. Clear? Any questions so far? Yeah, I'm looking at the chat. Okay, so far the only chat is uh, from Zan Hong and it is from, from before this live uh, before this live stream is uh, beginning. Okay, remember if you have any questions, put it on the chat box to your right. If you're watching this on a laptop or go uh, or mob uh, or computer, all right, down below if you're watching this on mobile. Okay, clear. Okay, clear. Good. All right, if I remember any questions, just put it in the chat, okay? Or even WhatsApp me, okay? Or even just put it on WhatsApp, all right? So, next. Now, how to avoid the traps of plagiarism? How to avoid plagiarism? How not to fall victim to plagiarism? Because the uh, most probably, okay, most probably you guys will be, you guys accidentally plagiarize it, all right? If you are in my diploma class, okay, if I teach you guys, if I taught you guys ARS, academic research skills, by the way, right? Uh, most of you guys, most of my students, they don't know that they plagiarize. They don't know that whatever they did before this is plagiarism. The lecturers didn't tell them, the teachers didn't tell them, right? So, for me, it's very easy, all right? So once you know what is plagiarism, it's very easy to avoid. So number one is read with a purpose, okay? When you go, when I give you guys any task, okay? When I ask you guys to uh, look for journals, look for articles, research online, there is a purpose that you guys want, that you guys have, 
All right, I ask you guys to look for information on Facebook. Okay, what are the working cultures in Facebook? So you have a purpose in mind. All right, so you find a range of articles. You go online, you find a range of different articles. Okay, and then you take a few and then you note who wrote it. Okay, you note all of this stuff in. All right, then you make a mental record. You take a record of all bibliographic details. Bibliographic details are what? Okay, if, uh, bibliographic details are the author. Who wrote it? Who wrote it? Okay, when? Okay, when was this written? Okay, where? Okay, uh, published where? Where was it published? 在哪里出的这个article? All of this have to be inside. You, all of this have to be noted, basically. Okay, because you have to write a reference list. Later, I'll show you how to write a reference list, all right? And add your own comments. What do you think? What do you think of uh, this particular information? So let's say, okay, let's say I ask you guys to find the working culture of Facebook. Okay, so you go online, okay, you go to glassdoors.com, after that you go, uh, you, you, you go and see the company review, you say, oh, this is how Facebook does things, this is how Google does things. Then, what is your thought? What is your own opinion on stuff? What is, uh, uh, what is your opinion on it? How do you feel regarding the working conditions there? Okay, and then you compare it with the working conditions in Malaysia. Alright, so this is your own idea, really, because it comes from you. Okay, you find from the internet, what do you make of it? What is your interpretation of it? Okay, 你的看法是什么? Okay, all these things becomes yours. So that part, you can write on your own. But the information you found on the internet, those have to be cited properly. And you have to differentiate your words from the original. Okay, you use quotation marks. Clear? So far so good? Okay? Remember, any questions, check box down below or to the right. Alright? Now, you can even incorporate materials in your essay, okay? Incorporate materials in your essay. You establish, okay, its context and significance, okay? You put, you take what other people say, okay, and you put it in your essay, okay? In, in your essay or in your report to support your own idea. Because when you are writing as a degree student, okay, you have no power to say a lot of stuff, okay? That's why you need other people's support, okay? Other people's research to support. And you have to acknowledge the source in two places. The first place is with in the essay itself, okay, within the essay itself, you put that, okay, usually it's like, it's according to blah, blah, blah. So let's say Joseph, okay, let's say me, okay, I say cats are black, okay, so let's say this, uh, okay, so let's say uh, we say this, cats are black, okay, so Joseph Fang, okay, Joseph Fang 2020. So let's say in the year 2020, I made a research and I say that cats are black, okay? Cats are black like this. So when you want to quote me, okay, when you want to put it, knowledge in the essay, you must go something like this. You have to say, according, according to Pang, okay, when, whenever we are quoting Asians or we are quoting other people, okay, we always use the surname, okay? We must always quote the surname. According to Pang 2020, okay? Felines are dark in color, like this. Uh, so, this is how you quote things properly. Okay, this is how you quote things properly in, uh, in, in, an, in an academic form. Alright, so let's say I did a research. So, you say, according to Pang, felines are dark in color. Now, this is not plagiarism anymore. Why? You, not only you change the words, okay, not only you change the words here, you quote, you cite it properly. Okay, you say according to Pang, according to Smith, according to whoever, whoever, okay, said this, alright? So you are actually acknowledging the original person, okay? So far so good? And last one is at the end of the, at the end, okay? At the end of the assignment, okay, at the end of the paper, there is a reference list. I'm going to be teaching you how to write reference list later, okay? So make sure to pay attention, alright? So within the essay, you learn as we go along. Okay, but the reference list is the one that is most important because that is going to come out in your final exam. Okay, so far so good. Now, final exam, just a little bit, uh, just, just a little quick uh, tidbit. Uh, depending on how your listening test goes later on, it may be online using the same system. Okay, so I need to see how uh, you guys respond to the online test first. All right, then move on because uh, if if let's say we were to see the government's plan okay if let's say the two weeks is up and then the grant, the grant extend another two weeks all right so even if we can come back uh, even if we come back to campus it will be during that week one more week that is final exam all right so no 
really there's no point. We won't be seeing each other for a very, 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 very long time. Okay, I think we only see each other for like what three, five weeks only. Okay, for about five weeks, the, our total time to see uh, to see each other. Okay, so even if the MCO get extended, so we must be prepared for it. So uh, Zhang Hong says, so we still need to change some words or copy. Okay, uh, up to you. Okay, Zhang Hong, if let's say you want to change some words, it's okay. You still have to change words. If let's say you don't have to change words. Okay, you want to copy the original, make sure you put the quotation marks. For example, okay, I, put, uh, I used the previous example back. Huh? Okay, this one, cats are black. Okay, so if let's say you don't want to change the original word, you don't want to change the words, huh? so you can say, Pang, okay, or, or you can say, according to Pang, okay, 20, uh, 2020, like this. Okay, so you put this one. You, you put this quotation mark, all right? If you don't want to change the words, you can okay, put this one. Cats are black. Like this. Okay? If you don't want to change the words or you don't know how to change the words, make sure you put this. Okay, this quotation mark right here. Ah. So you fulfill two conditions already. You fulfill the citation part, you fulfill the direct quotation part. Clear, Zhang Hong? Okay, Dan Hong, any questions? Any more questions? <sighs> Sorry, yeah. Okay, I had I, I had a I had another two hours class before this. Okay, so uh, you don't necessarily uh, the best way. Okay, the best way is to change it to your own words. The best way, still quote them. Okay, still acknowledge the author. Okay, and. Uh, and change it to your own words. That's the best. But if you don't know, okay, if you cannot, that means that the word is so perfect and you cannot change it anymore, then you can use direct quotation. All right. So that uh, in your notes, they, there is one ready. There's one called chapter three, right? There's a PDF called chapter three. Everything is ready there. All right. So you can download it and read it. Okay. As I explain it along. Okay. Now, uh, direct quotation, here comes, uh, here comes it. Now, statements that consist of exact words of the author copied directly word from word from a printed or electronic source. Word for word, bullet, bullet, the same. Okay, you didn't change even a single word of it like just now. Okay, now that, this is what we call direct quotation. And they are used when you want to what? Number one, add power of an author's word to support your argument. Okay, because there are certain things, okay, there are certain... Um, uh, there, there, there are certain people, okay, in the in the industry that are very powerful. Okay, they are so powerful that their words can mean everything. Okay, like in the world of business, who is very powerful? Jack Ma, okay, Warren Buffet, okay, uh, some what Elon Musk. All these people are like powerhouses. Okay, like powerhouses in the business in the business world. So whatever that they say, okay, will carry a lot of weight. Whatever they say, they, they say have carry a lot of weight. So if, let's say what is Jack Ma says. Okay, according to Jack Ma, 2019, according to Jack Ma, 20, no, 2018, okay, and then you cannot change it any other way. Okay, it, it is so, the, 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 the words that Jack Ma say, okay, all the things that Jack Ma say is so impactful, so powerful, you cannot change it anymore. Uh, then you can use direct quotation. Or you can even use it to disagree with the author's argument. Okay, like you don't agree. Like Donald Trump says that injecting disinfectant will be uh, will, will be useful in uh, killing the coronavirus. You disagree. Okay, so you direct quote according to President Trump. No, 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 no. Unquote. Okay, and then this is a ridiculous statement. No, 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 no. Like that. Okay, so you can okay disagree with the author's argument or opinion using direct quotation because that is what this is what they say and this is what you don't agree on. So you direct quote and then you attack the statement straight away. Okay, I will explain more later. Or highlight particularly eloquent or powerful phrases in passages. All right, you want to, uh, sometimes people wrote things in 1970s, 1960s, 1950s, and then the same thing still holds true today. It is still true even up to today. All right, so you want to highlight it. You want to tell, the, you want to show that the, uh, it is still true. Okay, it's still true up to today, and you want to tell people that this is important and whatnot, you can use direct quotation. And last one is to compare and contrast specific points of view. All right, you want to compare and contrast two different authors. Author A says A, author B says B, and you want to compare the two of them. All right, you want to compare the two of them, you use direct quotation. Clear? So far, so good? Okay, remember, any questions, put it in the chat box. Huh? I will check later on. 
Okay, I will answer as we go along. All right, and direct quotation should be smoothly integrated into the text of your report in full. Okay, it cannot be cut here and there. It must be smoothly integrated into your report. And in general, they are preferably only in these situations. You don't get direct quote everything. Huh? I have students who say, Sir, that means I can copy and paste the entire internet article into my assignment. Okay, I don't have to change a single word. So let's say uh, I wrote the article like one page long. Okay, one page long. So I said, according to Pang 2020, you copy and paste the entire thing inside open and close quotation. Can or not? Okay, my student asked me that. I said, can. No problem. Okay, if you do that, okay, if you do that, you, do, you take the entire thing, you copy and paste, you put it into your assignment, all right, and then you say, according to Pang 2020, and then you put opening and closing quotation, Nothing is wrong. Seriously, nothing is wrong. You are not plagiarized. Okay, you, you, you don't, you're, sorry, you did not plagiarize. You quote this properly, great. Okay, but you get zero for your own ideas. Okay, because the assignment usually is your own idea. What is your opinion on stuff? So if you direct copy and paste, you're just telling me what that person says what. Okay, it's not your own idea. So where is your own idea? For that part, you get zero. All right, so that's why I tell my students, fine. I, I, won't, I won't say that you plagiarize. I won't ask you to do it again. But where is your own point? Okay, where is your own opinion? Don't have. If you don't have, straight away, still zero. All right, so don't try to be smart with your lecturers because they know, they know more than you. All right, so this is, a, this is a danger here. That's why you have to only use in certain situations. Right, so by citing important statements of information, opinion, or policy, okay, usually like company policy, state, uh, financial statements, company reports, these type of things you cannot change. All right, so you direct quotation, uh, you do direct quotation. All right, and it's preceded by this. One leading educator recently said that. Somebody recently said that. Okay, you can use these words to denote a. Uh, you can use these words to denote direct quotation, or you can say as Norton twenty o three argues. Okay, this one Norton is someone else's surname, uh, and then this one is when they write it. Okay, Tan Men Sing. Okay, and Ji Nian. Okay, 那个那个年代, that, that, that year that it came out. Okay, the year that this statement was made. Okay, Norton is someone else's surname. Uh. Surname is your sing ming. Uh. Okay, it's your sing. All right. And 20, the, the year here is when they will come out. So for me, okay, let's say you want to quote me, my surname is Pang. So it said, as Pang 2020 argues, or according to Pang 2020, Pang 2020 concludes that, blah, 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 like that. Okay, later on, we're going to see how each of them goes. Okay, clear so far? So far, so good? Okay, can I remember any questions? Just put it in the chat down below. Am I going to, if I'm going too fast, then just tell me. All right, so this is the example of direct quotation. You see this thing? These are all original words, okay? These are all original words. Okay, the past few years have seen mobile phones ceasing to be a luxury and becoming a necessity among the market. Now, the question for this is actually in your, okay, in your handouts, this one. Okay, if you wait a minute, where are you? Okay, let me just put it to desktop. Okay, now if you see the handouts, okay, the, all the notes are actually here. Everything that I put is already here. Okay, so you see this one. Uh, so it's, it's already here actually. Okay, so you just refer. Everything that I say, okay, everything I say in the slides, you just refer to that. All right? Clear? All right? So that's why I ask you to download before class. Okay, I ask you to download before class is because of this. All right. So like this, the past few years have seen mobile phones ceasing to be a luxury. Blah blah blah. So you see, according to Lukman twenty o three, okay, all this are Lukman's word. Okay, are Lukman's words. Okay, it's not the it's it's not whoever it's not the person who wrote this assignment. Right, it's someone called Lukman. So Lukman said this. Although Gidi is a later cellular company, here it managed to successfully build large, uh, the largest market share in cellular communication. Gidi has the largest number of subscribers, which is about five million. All right, now this is copied and pasted from somewhere. After that, they go and quote properly. According to Lukman, this is it. You see, direct quote, direct quote. Okay, so this is how they do direct quotation. Clear? Okay. We'll see, okay, this one direct quotation is very easy. Just copy and paste, okay? Just copy and paste. No, uh, it, it doesn't require a lot of uh, the paraphrasing, we call it, okay? It doesn't have to. Just copy and paste, put it quotation marks and quote things properly, all right? So far, so good? Now, this one you have to practice, 
Okay, if you don't practice, you wouldn't know. Okay, if you don't practice, that's why I'm going to be giving you a few homeworks after this, all right? Now, next is paraphrasing. Now, paraphrasing, most probably you have used it before. Okay, for those of, uh, for, for those of you who, uh, who went through SPM, okay, you might remember a component SPM called summary writing. Am I right? Okay, but but All right, so this is what we this is what is what, what we call as play, uh, paraphrasing. All right, now paraphrasing is rephrasing the words of an author, putting his or her own original thoughts into the words. Okay, like I said before, this Okay, Basically, don't copy and paste. You copy and paste after that, you just change it to your own words. Okay, but cite things properly. Okay, still cite things properly, all right? So when you paraphrase, you reword the original ideas, words, phrases, and change the sentence structures. Okay, uh, sentence structure the sentence sheet. But remember that idea is not from you. Okay, you still have to quote things properly. Clear? Okay, so this is the ideal. Okay, usually when we write things academically, this is the ideal because you would want, uh, you, you would want your words to be paraphrased. You don't want it to be copied and pasted because you lose integrity if you copy and paste. All right? So when you paraphrase, you reword the original ideas, words, phrases, change the sentence structure, change the grammar, change the sentence structure, change the words, change the vocabulary, and it's slightly shorter than your original text. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, the, you take something that is long, you put, you make it into quite short. All right, 长长的东西把它变短哈. All right, so you must follow proper citation. Huh? not enough. If if if, uh, if, uh, if let's say you copy and paste, after you just change the words and you say, hey, 我把我把全部字变掉了，这个是我的了，不是plagiarize啊，不是copy Wrong. Huh? you cannot think like that because the idea again, as I say, is not yours. Okay, the idea is not yours. You still have to cite things properly. Like like just now I say. Cats are black is the original. If you change it, the felines are dark in color. The idea still didn't come from you. The idea come from came from someone else. That's why you have to quote things properly. Clear? Okay. So next is paraphrasing is done when you want to do what? Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Now paraphrasing is done when you want to use information on your note cards and wish to avoid plagiarism. Okay, when you want to use what other people have said, but you want to avoid plagiarism, you do paraphrasing. All right, and you want to avoid overuse of quotation. Chembo tong si ni quote, dika ni quote, chika tong si ni quote, chika tong si ni quote, zengke assignment ni quote. Okay, the whole assignment you do direct quotation. Here, 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 everything direct quotation. It's got, not going to look good on you. Okay, it's going to it's going to portray that you don't know how to paraphrase. Okay, it's so obvious that you're not going to you don't know how to paraphrase. Your marks might be affected. All right, so you want to avoid the overuse of quotations, all right? Then you want to use your own voice to present the information. Yung assignment. Okay, like like I like took idea. All right, so that is why people paraphrase. Clear? Okay, next, there are several things that should be considered when writing paraphrase statements. Okay, you have to keep these things in mind when you are uh, when you're paraphrasing. Number one, they should not be written using the author's original vocabulary. Uh, the original words. Okay, okay, every single word change it unless okay, unless it's words that cannot be changed, like economics. Okay, using us. If my ideas same with the article, but I don't know. Leh. Okay, now if your ideas same with the article, you would uh you would know because you will have to do a lot of research. Okay, you have to do a lot of reading, you have to do a lot of Google search. All right, that's why you before you do your assignment or before you uh, look for before you start writing your assignment, you have to go and look for information first and read. Okay, and read. There's a lot. Okay, that's why I I I asked my lecturer the same question actually last time. I say that if let's say I have the same idea uh, as other people, how then my lecturer says it shows that you didn't read a lot. Okay, you didn't go and look for the information a lot. So you have to go and look for the Okay, 如果你找, you find, 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 and you cannot find. Okay, that means you really, really cannot find it anymore. Okay, 没有人跟你想法一模一样, then you can write your own stuff in. But if, let's say you, uh, you, you, you go and look for it, then you say, hey, this person had the same opinion as me. Ah, then you have to quote. Okay, because that person do it earlier than you. 那个人比你先找到, Okay, that's why you have to quote that person. So, Yijing, okay? 
Did I answer your question? Is it okay? Any question? Any more questions? Okay. All right. Let's move on. All right. So they should reflect, and uh, they should also reflect thorough understanding of the ideas. Okay, it should reflect that you are that that you should reflect that you are that, that sorry, it should reflect that you understand the article, okay, or whatever it is that you found. Okay, so the way that you write, okay, the way that you replace in Zhang Chikai had Okay, it must be uh it, it must be so effective that it shows it reflects, it shows your understanding of the ideas. Alright, you put the and then when the job to us all the put on the chance of Okay, meaning that you are just doing it, you're just changing it for the sake of changing it only. Because okay, and Kind of truth, put on. All right, that's why that, that's how I know that when, sometimes when you guys do certain stuff, I know that you guys don't know, all right, because of these things. All right, so you have to be really, really clear. Okay, and it has to reflect the main, the real meaning of the text. Okay, it has to reflect real, actual meaning. All right, Okay, when you Okay, when it says A means A. Don't go and change a few words become B. No. Okay, so you have to keep to the original idea. And last but not least, they should be written in the correct mechanics, usage, and grammar. Grammar, usage, mechanics, everything has to be correct. Okay, 要对, grammar, 全部东西要对. All right, spelling, everything is a given. Lah. All right, so if let's say you, okay, if let's say you simply write, after that, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, you simply write, after that, it's like, um, it's wrong, then it doesn't reflect your understanding anymore. Okay, sometimes meaning can change, you know? Okay, meaning can change. Okay, when you change the grammar, all right? So don't change the grammar much, all right? Follow the original grammar if you can. Okay, and make sure there is no, uh, that there are no mistakes, all right? Okay, let's move on. And remember, any questions, just put it in the chat box, okay? As I reply to Zhang Hong and Yi Jing right here. Okay, now how to paraphrase? Now, step by step, right? Number one, read the paragraph or text or section first. Okay, you always have to read. After that, you write down the main ideas or you highlight the main ideas. All right, this is how you do. You download the internet, you download the internet, you download the internet, okay, you download it, you print it out, whatever, okay, that you do, you highlight important points. Okay, you highlight the important points first, okay, and then you make a note of it, okay, once you highlight these are the main points, then step two, okay, step two, you rewrite the whole thing. Okay, because you are you, you want the main points only or main points or a bit of explanation. So you take those things out after you rewrite it. You write the first draft first. Okay, you write only the terms and phrases collected in your notes. It is a sin highlight the see. Okay, you only write the things that you highlight. The, the, the things that you don't highlight, you don't write. Okay, because you're only distracting yourself. And all these extra bells and whistles are like examples and whatnot, don't put it in. Okay, only put in main points and a bit of explanation, a bit of elaboration. Okay. Right, write the sentences or paragraph in your own words. Okay, so at first you copy and paste. Okay, the first step is you read, highlight. Second step is you transfer to another one. Usually it's copy and paste first. Okay, you copy and paste, you read, then you slowly change the words. Ah, then you slowly change the words, you write the sentences or the paragraph in your own words. Okay, and don't take the words directly from the original text. 不要把他们完原本的字丢进去，你可以改它，你就改它。Okay, uh, uh, like I said, the words like economics, Malaysia, Singapore, like all these important words, you cannot change it. Okay, like COVID nineteen, MCO, all these words you cannot change. Okay, 你改不到的。you put it in as usual. Like nasi lemak, curry pak, all these things is it's an it's obvious lah. Okay, well we say use your logic, okay, use your common sense to see what are the things you have to quote, what are the things you don't have to quote. Alright? So Ruko like like sharpener, computer. Of of course other people are gonna use it in their articles, so am I right? So you don't have to like oh computer like this. You don't have to like words, names, okay, if uh, it, if it cannot be changed. It's okay, put it in. Usually it's the ideas. Okay, I'm talking about the ideas here, not the names. Huh? Names can appear. It's okay. Okay, like nouns, they can appear, but ideas are the ones that you have to change. All right, like certain important terms from the original text may be used. I said like names or theories. Okay, like 
places and whatnot. Okay, those things can be reused. Clear? Any questions so far? Any questions? So these are the first two steps. Step number three is to do what? Check for accuracy. After you change everything, okay, after you change your draft rate, check for accuracy. Okay, once completed, reread the original passage and compare the ideas with your version. Okay, two or see how layout you compare. Okay, you compare your version and the original version, two of them, compare together. Okay, is are the ideas the same? Okay, idea young ma. Okay, the, the 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 opinions, everything, is it the same? Okay, does it carry the same meaning? Okay, and check your paraphrase statements to ensure. Uh, sorry. Okay, check your paraphrase statements to ensure the following items are included. So all the important ideas in the original text are included. Okay, all the chong is already there. Alright, and the ideas are the same relative length. Okay, okay, it should be about the same. Alright, and the ideas, uh, the statements similar to uh, similar tone and stress. The tone and stress they are similar. The Mr. Hada is uh, is there. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And ideas are presented using own words. Okay, but Okay, copy Okay, don't copy and paste their words. Alright, use your own words and. Ooh. Okay, and they are you written using accurate language, right? Grammar, spelling, me or talk. Okay, everything is correct. And step four, check grammar, punctuation, spelling. Okay, check everything is correct. All right. So that is actually how you do paraphrasing. Sounds simple. Can chi lai ting chi lai hen jian but actually it is not. Uh. Okay, for me, even when I was young last time, okay, even when I was in the US last time, it's a, it is actually quite difficult. Okay, it's actually quite difficult. It, it took a lot of practice, okay, because uh, it's a, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, changing, a lot of, a lot of words that you have to know, a lot of practice, like, basically. All right, uh, I did paraphrasing when I was in elementary school or uh, the equivalent of primary school here. Like, okay, in the US, it's called elementary school. So I did it when I was in grade four. Okay, uh, or standard four here. Grade four, uh, back in the US, it's like standard four here. So back then, I already know how to do paraphrasing. All right, so you guys have to pick this, uh, pick this uh, skill from the ground up. All right, so any questions? Any questions? No questions, huh? So let's see. Okay, so let's see this one. Okay, the example that I gi I've given you guys. All right, so the original quotation is this. All right, this one is the one, remember, just now? Okay, the original quotation, they copy and paste from that person. This one is direct quotation. So if you were to change it to the original, okay, to, if you were to paraphrase it, it becomes like this. Okay, although Giddy is the latest cellular company here, it has managed to successfully build the largest market share in cellular communications. Giddy has the largest number of subscribers, which is about 5 million. Okay, this is the author's words. Huh? They change it to their own words. So it becomes like this. Lukman, 2003, stated that. Okay, always past tense, uh, the verb here is always past tense, stated that now Giddy is the top cellular communication provider. You see, latest cellular communication provider build the largest market share. So what is the meaning? Top cellular service provider, even though it is the most recent cellular provider. Okay, they have the largest number of subscribers, meaning highest mark, top cellular, okay, uh, top, top cellular service provider. Communications provider, Ugh, the words doesn't come out. Okay. And even though it is the most recent, latest is most recent. Okay, so you see how it got changed right here. Okay, all of this is in your notes. Okay, all of this is the notes that I ask you guys to download. So you guys just read it like that. Okay, another example. Oh, yeah, before this, any questions? Any questions? So far, two of your friends have left us already. I'm assuming it's a connection problem, but it's okay. They can still join in okay, if they are connected or they can watch this on the delayed telecast. But those of you who are still here, any questions before I move on? Because after this, it's going to be like very really intense already. Eh? Any questions so far? No, huh? All right, so let's move on. Now, next is this. Okay, next is another example. So this sort of original quotation is this. When Singapore gained independence in 1965, it was faced with major pollution problems. Okay, the government introduced taxation on motor vehicles, tobacco sales, and enacted anti-littering laws to solve the problem. Because of the cleaner environment resulting from these policies, many multinational companies have since invested in the country. This is the original tax. Okay, and so 2002, okay, 2002, 2002, wrote this. So how do you rephrase this? How do you paraphrase this? It becomes like this. 
Okay, when it became independent in 1965, you see, when Singapore became independent in 1965, when it became independent in 1965, you see the word independence, change it, independent, okay? And of course, 1965, 1965, you cannot change. Yeah, Singapore, Singapore cannot change because it's a proper noun. Those you carry forward. But look at the sentence. It basically flip the sentence, all right? They change the grammar, they change the words, okay, to become something original. But, okay, we still quote the original person here because the idea didn't come from, the, 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 the writer didn't come up with the idea. Okay, the Zo 2002 came up with the idea. Okay, that's why you have to put Zo 2002 inside. Everything is in your notes, okay? This, everything is in the PDF notes that I have given you, all right? So you can refer it inside there, okay? So far, so good. Now this one, now this one is a bit advanced. Okay, this one is a bit advanced. So I expect Gladys to be able to do this. All right, Gladys, you're my hope. Huh? Okay, so in doing the quiz or doing the final exam, I hope you are able to do this. All right. So this one is a second less obvious instance of government's influence. All right. So this one is using information as a support. Now this one, this one is the original one. Okay. So you're using the original. Okay, original. Uh, um, you're using someone else's idea to support your own idea. Okay, that is the more advanced version. Okay, so you see this one. A second less obvious instance of the government's influence of business can be seen in Singapore. All right, so it's according to a study and blah, 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 blah. Now, this one is it. Okay, this one, see, but since we're attractive cover, now this is actually the quotation. Okay, this is actually the in-text citation, the quotation here, the paraphrase one. But it's the last sentence. This shows how le well, uh, legislation can improve the environment, can uh, uh, to improve the environment can also have impact in the commercial sector. Now, this is the original idea from the author. Okay, this is the original idea from the writer themselves. But they, the, the, the writer used this quotation to support this. More advanced. Lah. Okay, this is high level in this one. Okay, this is it's a bit high level. All right. So this one, I expect Gladys to be able to do it. The rest of you, it's okay if you don't if you don't know how to do this. Okay. The rest of you just do this enough. All right. But for Gladys, I expect you to do this. Okay. Because I feel that you, you are able to do it. Huh? Gladys, okay? Don't let me down, Gladys. Okay. We are long. Okay, Gladys? Yeah, I expect you to be able to do this. Huh? The rest of you, if you want to try, it's okay. If you want to try doing the exercises, you can. Okay, but uh, so let me see. So I'll be able to tell you what to improve. All right. So that's why I say this lesson, I feel more comfortable doing it in class in front of you because I am able to show you a lot of samples. All right. Online, there, there is no interaction. You know, there, there is no like hands-on experience. So I, I really don't like to teach this thing online. But no choice. Okay, if I don't teach you this now, I have no more time. Okay, so I'm so sorry that I'm not able to transfer this information accurately to you guys, all right? But never mind. If you guys have any questions or whatnot, please put it in the chat box on your right. Put it in the chat box down below. I'll try my best to help, all right? Or even WhatsApp after this. Okay, so useful language for academic writing. Now, the, this one is in your book. Uh, uh, sorry, this one is in your uh, notes, so you don't have to write it down. Okay, you don't have to screenshot it. You know what is in your uh, notes already. So you, are, you, you can use words like this. Recent evidence suggests that blah, blah, blah. Now, all this, uh, all, the, all these things right here, they are called quote, they are called references. Okay, they are called references. There are two. There are, there are two ways that you can do it. One is inside the text, it's like this. Okay, the other one is at the end, reference list. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to write reference list later. But by definition or by standard, okay, usually you put a surname and the year. Okay, Sing Ming Gen Ha Chu the Nian. Okay, uh, 几年他出了那个名字? Okay, which year was it published? Okay, so if let's say like this one, McGregor 2010, that means McGregor wrote this in 2010. Pines in 2015 wrote this. Garland in 2000 wrote this. Okay, that is the meaning of it. Alright, so all these Ramines, okay, now at L is in France. Now this one I'll show you later. Okay, I'll tell you what is it later. Okay, but like Ford is a person's name. All these things are person's name. All right, all these things are person's name. That's why you have to put the person's name and the year because they are the ones who come up with the idea, acknowledge it. 
Okay, uh, when it comes to Asian names, we're gonna see later. Okay, we're gonna see later how do you look for surnames in Asian names. All right. So far, any questions? All these are in all. All of these things are in your uh, 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 already in your notes, huh? Okay. Any questions so far? Any questions? Now, if there are no questions, I'll move into how to write a reference list. Now, I'm going to switch over. Okay, I'm going to switch over to this slide right here. Okay. Now, just now I have uh, given you guys this. Okay, so, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, just now I've given you guys this, am I right? Now, this one is something that you guys are expected to know. Okay, you guys need to know this. Okay, because this is an official one from, the, this, is an, this is an official document from um, VU. Okay, so when you start your VU studies, you have to know this. Okay, you have to know this. So all this thing, very important. Okay, I've given you guys the PDF copy already. If you can print it out. Okay, if you can print it out, put it in your file, bring it with you. Save a permanent copy in your computer because this is going to be very, very important. Okay, so VU has uh, given you guys this really, really good guide. All right, like this one. Okay, in-text citation. How do you cite in-text? All right, how do you do direct quotation? How do you paraphrase and whatnot? Most importantly is this part. Reference list, okay. Reference list. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to be telling you three, okay, I'm going to be telling you uh, three very important sources that's going to come out for your final exam. Number one is book. You have to know how to do referencing for books. Okay, I'm going to write it down in the chat. Okay, books. All right. Next is journals. Journals is down here. Okay, journals is down here. All right, this one. Journals, all right. Journal articles. Okay. So final exam, I'm gonna be coming up with these few things. Huh? books, journals. Okay, I'm writing down in the chat. Journal articles. Okay, and websites. Okay, so I put down in the chat. Sorry, these three things I'm gonna be asking in the final exam. All right, so websites are down here. Okay, journal article from website, websites, they're all down here. Okay, I'm gonna, later on, I'm going to demo, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to do this. All right, so I'm putting it down in the chat. So final exam, I can tell you straight away, okay, is uh, I'm going to come out, but uh, I'm going to count questions on referencing, okay, on books, journal articles, and websites. So later when I demo, please listen. Okay, please listen very closely because these three sources are the ones that you're going to come across very, very commonly okay, in your VU studies later on. Okay, so this one, okay, the, the, this one is very, very important. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one first. Huh? So book single author. Okay, book single author. You see this? Hassler E. Okay, E here is the first name. So let's say my name Joseph Pang. Okay, so let's say my name Joseph Pang. If let's say it goes to here, it's Pang, okay, P A N G, comma, J. Okay, 2020. Okay, later on I'm gonna show you. Alright. So you gotta know what is first name, what is surname. Okay, what is first name? Sometimes uh, it's first name and last name. Okay, first time is uh, uh, can we improve? Because Zhang Hong asks, can we improve our writing skill by doing this type of uh, this kind of practice? Um, I wouldn't say uh, I, I wouldn't say you can improve on your general writing skills. You can improve on your academic writing skills. Okay, you can improve on academic writing skills on it. Okay, uh, like how to quote things properly, how to cite things properly. But to uh, you want to improve a general writing, I don't think so. Okay, I, I, I don't know. general writing you have to write like essays. Okay, this one is like more towards academic. This one is more towards like you know. Uh, Referencing this one is more true as like quotations, citations, and whatnot. It's very useful for your assignment. It's very useful for your VU studies later on. Okay, but in general English, not so because this one is too academic. Okay, this one is too academic, too too university ish. All right, too university ish. Uh, wouldn't be very useful in the real world. Okay, if you want if you want to improve your writing skill in the real world, you have to write essays. Okay, you have to write essays, opinion pieces, you know, uh, stories and whatnot. Those will improve your general writing skills. Okay, but academic writing skills, this is it. Okay, you want to improve your academic writing skills, I would uh, ask you guys to do this as a practice. Okay, Zhan Hong? Okay, did I answer your question? Okay, so 
Um, if there are any more questions, just put it in the chat. Huh? Just, just put it in the chat. I will answer, uh, I'll, I'll answer straight away. All right. So later on, I'm going to be showing you uh, what, what to do for this. Now, the certain people, uh, certain websites or certain uh, books, okay, will say, or will, will say first name and last name. Like my name, Joseph Pang Kok Bing. Okay, so first name, Pang, uh, first name Joseph, last name Bing. No, it's not like that. Okay, okay, uh, it, it's uh, like, like, uh, like, uh, Zan Hong. Okay, Zan Hong is like, okay, your surname, then Zan Hong, correct or not? But if let's say last name, okay, last name is not Hong, uh, Hong is not your last name. Okay, your last name is actually your surname. Okay, the last name here is your surname, the Sing Ming, and your first name is actually your Chinese name. So Chinese is different. Okay, Chinese names is gonna be quite different. I'm gonna show you later on. Okay, so make sure you have this document with you, uh. Okay, so make sure you have this document with you. If let's say you're watching this on your computer, okay, open this. Okay, open this next to it. Okay, if you're if you're watching this live stream on your phone, okay, um, I, I'm not sure whether you can do two uh, two different windows uh two different windows in your phone or not, but if you can try to do it, okay. I know note you can do it, okay, two separate windows. So you'll have a PDF up there and you have your uh the, the, the YouTube down there. Alright, so uh you, you, you gotta refer, okay. If you don't have this, please, I've already put it in the WhatsApp group, download it right now. Okay, you need to have this compulsory, okay. Compulsory must have this, okay. It's not just compulsory, it's mandatory. In thing yao yo la zhi gong si because it's from VU. So if you don't follow this, your VU assignments can fail. Okay, now I can forgive you. Since I can jiang pung jing, but when you go into your VU studies in July, you don't have this, you don't do your assignment according to this, okay, according to the referencing style here, you can fail your assignment. That's why I have to teach you first before you go into your VU studies later. Okay, my diploma students, uh, we did something similar in ARS, okay, like academic research skills. Uh, the notes that you have is from uh, is from the diploma actually. All right, I wrote, I, I created it for the diploma students, so they would have a bit of exposure as to how to do this. All right, so when they go to VU, they won't suffer so much. But you guys, straight away from UEC, you guys don't know this. That's why I have to teach you all these things. All right, any questions so far? Noah, so make sure you have this. Okay, make sure you have this. So I will go into this one. Okay, I will go into this one. Oh, come on. Wait, 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 technical error. Okay, let me just bring the window up. I'm so sorry. Okay, where, where are you? Are you? Great, uh, the window is up. Okay, so um, your final exam questions may look something like this. Okay, of course the uh, of course it's not going to be exactly like this. Okay, it's not gonna, I'm going to be change. I'm going to be changing the questions a little bit, but it's going to be something similar. Okay, it's going to be something like this. All right, so let's try. Okay, you see this. Okay, you see this. I create a reference list using the Harvard referencing format based on the following sources. Okay, so you have to look back. Okay, you have to look back at your uh, you have to look back at your what at the referencing method just now okay you have to look back on that okay so wait a minute let me just uh, adjust something on my computer okay so you have to uh, you have to look back on that ooh, 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 ooh. I accidentally changed the thing okay great now you have to look back on the, uh, the uh, you have to look back on the, uh, the, the the PDF that I sent before this so you can do this all right so let's take a look at Asian names okay like I said just now okay uh, for okay uh, for okay uh, for Harvard referencing you have to put the surname first you have to put the author's name first okay you if you refer to the Harvard referencing guide okay surname is always first so let's take a look at this Asian name what is the surname right here? What is Chi Yong's first name? First name. Come on, put it in the chat box. What is the first name? Chat box down below on the right. Guess the first name. First name, huh? not last name, huh? first name. Now, no, Tan is not the first name. Okay, Tan is not the first name for Asian. Now, Asians with no English name. Yes, okay, using your right. 
Chi Yong is the first name. All right. So Chi Yong is the first name. You're right, Zhang Hong. All right. So for Asian names who don't have English names, like like my name, my name, my Chinese name is Pang Kok Bing. All right, but I have an English name, so it's in my IC. So it's Joseph Pang Kok Bing. In my case, my first name will be Joseph. Okay, my first name will be Joseph, and then I have a middle name. Okay, uh, in Western standards, Kok Bing will be my middle name. All right, but for typical Chinese name, okay, typical Chinese name Tan Chi Yong like this. Okay, usually it's the surname that comes first, last name, surname, Xing Ming Xian. So it's supposed to be Tan. Okay, Tan. Then you put comma. Okay. Done, you put comma, then there's a space. This one, listen very carefully. Yeah? Whoever is watching this live right now, if you can take out a pencil and write it together with me, it will be great. Okay, it will be very, very great. All right, or if you are confused, you need a revision, go uh, always, uh, you can always view this live stream back. All right, so done, comma, then you go with the first name. Okay, then you go with the first name. First name, initials. Only now, how the um, na 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 initials, initials, uh, the ike zimu bala. Okay, now how the ike zimu. All right, so Chi Yong is his first name. All right, so in this sense, it's Tan, comma, C, Y, like this. Okay, clear. So it's Tan, comma, C, Y. All right, Tan, comma, C, Y. And second author, if there are two authors, okay, if there are two authors, you have to put an M percent N. This one. This one is called M percent. Uh. Okay, this thing is called M percent. Alright. Now, uh, if you type, you type N percent. Okay, but if let's say, okay, if, if uh, usually it's typed, lah, but then if let's say you are writing, okay, learn how to write this, okay, learn how to write this, or you can actually put N. It's okay. Okay, if you're writing, okay, in the what you can use N. Okay, if let's say you're typing, make sure it's M percent. Okay, M percent is shift number seven. Okay, that is M percent. Alright? This symbol right here. And Jer Stephen Jeremy Saptik Ang Mole Mingzi. Okay, Yang Rene Mingzi. Now, this one's very clear. Okay, Yang Rene Mingzi, very, very clear. Stephen, first name. Saptik, last name. Very easy. Okay, very easy. Now, so this one, okay, Yang Rene Mingzi, the final name is always a surname. Okay, the uh, Ang Mole Mingzi, this one is always a surname. Huh? Saptik is always a surname. So you say Tan, CY, and Saptik. Okay, Saptik. All right, comma. Subject comma why? First name and middle name. So for in my case, okay, in my case is Pang comma J K B. Okay, in my case because my name is Joseph Pang Kok Bing. All right. So in my case is Pang comma J K B. All right. So in this case it is subject comma S J. Like that. Okay, clear. So far so good, huh? Okay, and then space. One more space. The year that it was published. This is super easy to write. Ah, 2015. Okay, you see here, year published 2015. Okay, then comma. So far so good, ah. Huh? Okay, must be. But these things must be accurate. Need the comma in where? Need the comma in where? Need the ah, things you see in where? All of these things must be accurate. If you if you miss out one comma, the whole thing wrong, ah. Huh? Okay, so in a final exam, if you miss out one comma, the whole thing wrong. Okay, so. Please make sure you listen to me very carefully. If you don't know, please ask me. Okay, chat box down below or the right hand side. All right. So after this would be the book title. This one is for books, huh? Okay, this whole thing is book books. Okay, this one is books. All right. So we go with books first. All right. So books the title is what? Books the name. Okay, the title is actually business research methods. That is the book name. So you put the book name in, but with a caveat, lah. Okay, you have to put it in italics. You know italics, right? Italics have to say it in the okay italics. You have to put business. Okay, research, but research here. Okay, small letter. Okay, business research methods like this. Okay, so you can even though okay even though business research methods here ta say okay but. When you put it here, even though you have to put italics, okay, you have you have to see it, see italics like that. Okay, after that, it's only the first letter, the first letter, the letter, the letter, the rest, the rest, the rest, correct? Ah, I mean, I was correct. Oh, the ah, me, ah, clear. Okay, any questions? Just tell, just tell me. After that, and your italics, comma again. Okay, and your italics, comma again, and number of edition. Remember, just like italics, ah, italics, see it, see it. Okay, say it again. All right. After that, comma, space. Then which edition? 
if, if let's say there's an addition, certain books don't have addition. You say put the mail addition. Okay, so certain books, uh, they, that is the first addition. So first, if let's say there's no this information, if you don't have this information, addition zero. Okay, always assume first addition. But this you don't have to write it in. Alright, you don't write it in, it's okay. Because addition sometimes is not there. Okay, uh, it is, the information isn't there. Alright, so this one, since we have it, so it's TRD, third EDN, addition comma. Third edition. Okay. After that is publisher's name. Okay. Publisher's name. That sui print 那个东西的. Okay. Sui print 那个, 那个不止谁出的. Okay. 那个不止出白, rider and son. So see. Rider. Okay. And son. Comma. And 那个不止从哪里出来的. Okay. 哪里出那个不止? It's Joho Baru. Baru. And just put a full stop. Usually this information, okay, usually this information can be found inside your book. Okay, usually can be found inside your book. So if let's say you want to quote your textbook, business results, usually this thing is behind here. Okay, your book, your, the, the information is either way at the back here, okay, or right in front. Usually it's either right in front or way at the back. Okay, so this one. So take a look at your textbook. Huh? Your textbook is written by John Hudges and John Norton. Alright. So if let's say you want to put you, you, you want to put you want to quote your book, so it becomes Hudges, H U G uh, uh Hudges H U G H E S, comma J. M percent, okay, M percent Norton, N A U T O N, comma J. Okay. Is that what year? Wait, which year did what was this published? 2017, alright, comma, well, uh, after that, 2017, comma, this, market, uh, business results, whatever, alright, so that is how you do it, so okay, this is the answer for this, clear? So far so good, I repeat, okay, I repeat, always start, okay, always start with the, okay, always start with the surname first, alright, Tan. Comma. After surname, comma. Then first name, then middle name. Okay, then first name, then middle name. Initials only. Alright, so like for my name, my surname is Pang. Okay, Joseph Kotbing would be the Joseph is my uh, Joseph is first name. Kotbing is my middle name. Alright, so it will be like this. Pang, comma, JKB. Alright, after that, M percent or N, subtick SJ. So the first one is always author's name. Zhuozhe的名字. Yes, Zhang Hong, there's a lot of things to recognize. That's why that's why I say today's lesson is gonna be very, very important. Okay, so please uh, so so very make sure that you understand this. Okay, because one mistake is wrong. Okay, one single mistake, the whole thing is wrong. Alright, so you see here, the first one is always author's name. Okay, Okay, Alright, so in my case, my surname is Pang. Okay, so Pang first, then Joseph Kok Bing. Okay, so it becomes Pang, comma, J, K, B. Okay? Okay, so it's like that. Huh? Okay, so always start with the author's name. Then space, okay, put one space, 2015, the year that it was written. Now, okay, so it's 2015. Okay, so put 2015. Then comma. Okay, then comma. Then the book title. The book title, just say it and see it. Okay, italics. Okay, say it and see it. Okay, italics. So only the first letter is capitalized. 第一个字母, okay, 那, 那个不止的名字, okay, even though how the title chip but only the first one, okay, in your reference list. Okay, 这个不了大写. Then comma. If it has addition. Okay, if he has addition, then you put the addition. Like this one. Okay, like your textbook. The textbook here, your textbook is second edition. Okay, your textbook right here is second edition. So you have to put that second edition, 2ND. Okay, 2ND edition. Alright, and then who published this book? Okay, in this case, the information that I've given you is Ryder and Sons. Alright, in your, for your textbook is Oxford. Oxford University Press for your textbook. So you have to put Oxford University Press. Okay, but in this case, in this exercise, okay, I'm telling you it's Ryder and Sons and it's published. Where is it published? 
Clear? Okay, clear? Remember, any questions, just tell me. Okay, any questions, just tell me in the comments down below or in the chat box on your right. All right? A lot of things to remember. It, it, really, a lot of things to remember. Okay? Next will be journals. Okay, next will be journals. If you, are, uh, if you have the PDF open, the, uh, the, 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 the Harvard referencing guide, okay, open, you can, you, you can scroll down, okay, we, you can scroll down there to journal articles, all right? You can scroll down there to journal articles and you can refer it from there. Now, journals follow the same rule, okay? Journals follow the same rule. You have to, what? Journals, you have to follow authors. It's always like this, author first, all right? So for journals, author first. So let's take a look at the author here. Okay, so author here will be three, uh, three uh, Asian names. I'm going to be going Asian names because Asian names uh, are quite, actually quite difficult. And more names are very easy. Asian names are very actually quite confusing. So I'm going to go with Asian names quite a lot. Now, so Bong Wei On, Hong Yun Zheng, and Hashini Mani Rajan. 两个, now, ah, this is the one. Okay, this is the one that I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, I want to tell you guys how. Okay, so, okay, Chinese name with no English name is very easy. Okay, very easy. So, it's just, so this one, how? Wei On's name, how should we write? Start with the surname first, then the first name. So, how do we write? Type it, uh, type it in the comments. How do you write this? How do you write his name? Come on. Last name, then first name. All right. So how do you write this person's name? So you uh, you way on and Yun Zheng. So how do you write their name? Put it in the chat box. Come on. Nobody is responding, huh? Oh, you guys don't know. Okay. Not here more. I mean here, 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 this one. This one. Not the not C. B first. B first. That was Malay name. Malay name not yet. Okay. Bong W O. Okay, so it's Bong comma W O. You miss out the comma. Wrong. Okay, it's not on B W. Okay, we uh we on, we on is his name. Bong is his surname. Remember, Hua Ren Ming Zi. Okay, 第一个第一个他是他的姓. Okay, 我我们每次写 last name 先. Okay, we always write the last name first. All right, last name then first name. But Hua Ren Lai Jiang, 我们的姓就是我们的 last name. Okay. Ah, correct. Zhang Hong, you write it correctly already. Yeah, but no, no, no. Later, later I'll tell you. Okay, Zhang Hong, your, your first M percent is wrong. Okay, later I'll tell you. Okay, but let's address this one first. Now, foreign Mingzi. Okay, foreign Mingzi. You have to know that foreign Mingzi has no English name. Our name, our name. Okay, our name is actually the first letter, correct? Okay, so like your like your like your surname is Tan, Li, En, okay, Pang, what not? Okay, so that is your surname. So surname is actually last name. Okay, last name. And surname, they are the same thing. Okay, 一模一样的东西. 我们每次写 surname or last name first, then 才他的 first name. Okay, and in Chinese case, okay, in Chinese case, 我们有两个名字在后面. Usually, it's like, or like my one, Pang Kok Bing. Okay, or this one, Bong Wei On. So, Wei On, this one is actually his first name, you know. 这个是他第一个名字, first name, right? So, it becomes Bong, comma, W-O. Like that. Okay, bong comma w o, all right, clear? Okay, bong comma w o. After that, okay, because there is a second author, okay, there's a second author, so you put another comma. That's why Zhang Hong, I say you're you're wrong. The M percent is the is the last name. M percent is the 最后一个名字, the 最后一个作者, all right. So okay, so uh, bong w o comma. So next one would be what? Hong comma y z. Okay, Hong comma Y Z. Now this is where your M percent will come in. Hong comma Y Z. Your M percent will come in. Now this is the part. Okay, this is the part. 
，印度人有姓名吗？印度人有 surname 吗 ？Malay and Indians do they have surname? Let me ask you. 我问你们先，马来人跟印度人有姓名吗 ？Do they have a family name? 他们有没有他们的 family name? What do you think? 想一下，马来人跟印度人有没有姓名？有没有好像我们那种，我们把我我我们传我们的姓名下去。Like I, if let's say I have a son, then my son will carry my my children will carry my surname. Yeah. Malays and Indians do they have their own surname? Tell me. Put it in the chat box. Yes or no? Do they have the do do they have surnames or not? Come on. Your aunt. Nope. Okay, Abdullah is not the surname. Nope. Actually, the answer is they don't have surname. They don't have family names. They don't have family names. Okay. First name follow father's name. They they actually take their father's name. Okay. The Indians and Malays they take their father's name. All right. And uh, it's not surname as in surname, uh, surname as in S U R N A M E. Okay, this, this is the spelling for it. Okay, I'm putting down in the chat. Surname, I am putting it like that. This is surname, S U R N A M E. Okay, surname. All right. So, uh, Malays and Indians, they don't have surnames. They don't have last names technically. All right, because they they take their father's name. Okay, they take their father's name, but they don't have a family name. They don't have a family name. They don't have a family name. So if let's say Malay people, okay, if let's say Malay people, they have a son, they call their name Bin. So let's say, okay, let's say, uh, Ahmad, Ahmad is his name. Okay, he has a son, Ahmad is his name. After that, he has a son. Okay, they have a son. The son's name is Ali. Okay, so Ali. So it's Ali. They don't have a surname. Okay, 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 Okay, Indo Korean is 一样 Malay. I mean, Indians also the same. So Indians, let's say, ah, Mutu. Okay, Mutu is his name. His son, let's say, ah, let's say, ah, Kartik. Okay, Kartik is his son. So Kartik are not a lucky Mutu. It's actually like that. Okay, so Indians and Malays they don't have surnames. Okay, they don't have surnames. Okay, they don't have last names. Okay, so in this case, what do we do? Okay, now in this case, what do you do? So in this case, we straight away write your name. Okay, 他的名字在这边 Harshini is 他的名字 Okay, so straight away for Indians and Malays, they are the same, ah. Harshini, okay, Harshini, comma, M R. Okay, ah, Harshini, comma, M R. Okay, clear. Okay, it's like that. Okay, so Indo Malay, Malay people's name is the same. All right, Indo Malay people's name, Malay people's name is the same. They don't have a surname. They don't have a surname. That's why you go and write their own name, their first name. Okay, clear? So far, so good. Okay, usually, yep. Zhang, that's why I say it's it's very confusing. Okay, Asian names are very confusing. Okay, uh, Yao people's name is a bit more Okay. Uh, that that kind of Yang people's name is very easy. It's very easy, but the Asian names are the ones that is difficult. Okay, because Malays and Indians they don't have family name. Okay, that's why the 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 what uh the, the rules are a bit different for them. All right. So journals, okay, journals. You have to see this. Ah,、uh, journals. There are two things. Ah,、uh, there are two more things they have to say. The title of the article and the journal name. Okay, these are the two things that you have to you know, take into consideration. This one and this one. Okay, so after you write your author's name, start with the year. So this thing is written twenty seventeen. Okay, so no comma. So it's Bong comma W O comma Hong comma Y Z M percent Harshini comma M R two zero one seven. Okay, comma. Okay, comma. Then you put your the title, okay, the title of the article, okay, the title of the article. You put here opening quotation, but 不是那个两个的，不是这个啊，你要 put 这个 the single one. Okay, 不是两点的，是一点的。Okay, 不是这个，呃， okay, 不是这个。Okay, 不是两点的，是一个一点的。Okay, one like this. Okay, so you put there like this. After that, you don't you 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 don't put italics really. Ah, just now the title of the book is italics. This one you put normal. So this one same thing. Okay, same thing. 第一个字母把它大写。So satisfaction of unless 
它是 proper noun， OK， unless 它是 proper noun， then you put a、uh, capital letter like Sunway， OK， college JB students on the libraries facilities and services， OK， services， after that dot because the title has a dot， then Quan Ta， ah， okay put a Closing quotation. Okay, put a closing quotation. Ika, itian na. Alright. After that, comma. Okay. After that, comma. Then the journal name. Okay. Then the journal name. Okay. Then the journal name right here. Journal name italics. Sie itian sie. Okay. So you put here italics. Then you put but journal name. Ni me ika. You should follow ha. Okay. You follow the capitalization of these things. Okay. Capitalization of these things. So you go with this one. Journal of, sorry ah, yah say it ah, yah say say. Journal of applied social ah sciences ah journal of applied sciences. All right, after that. Comma space, okay. Comma space. All right. So again, I repeat, ah, uh, author's name, okay. Then the year, okay. Open quotation, open single, uh, open single quotation. Title of the journal, journal's name, then comma, comma. Then, okay. Then you have to put what volume number, this one. Volume number. So you say this one. Okay, you write volume two, twenty one. Volume twenty one, comma issue number what? Okay, then issue number two. Okay, issue number two. So number comma two, page what? Page what to what? So you put PP is page. Okay, dot seventeen to twenty. Clear? Again, I repeat because this has a lot of things to remember. A lot of things to remember. So author's name, okay, author's name first. The year that it was published. Journal, ah, sorry, article title. Okay, article title with the opening quotation. Okay, journal name italics. See, see, alright. Volume number, issue number, and page. Everything is in your Harvard referencing guide. 全部东西有在你 Harvard referencing guide 里面 Okay, clear? Any questions? Clear? I know a lot of things. Okay, a lot of things to remember. Okay, a lot of things to remember. Okay, that's why I prefer to do it in class, but no choice. Okay, I have to do this online. That's why you have to follow. Okay, step by step. Okay, like this. Okay, so next is another journal. Okay, next is another journal, but this one is a little bit different. Okay, this one is a little bit different. I mix Malay name in, okay, and Japanese name in. Okay, Japanese name in. So what is going on now? How do we do this? So Muhammad Zaidi bin Nordin. Okay, Muhammad Zaidi bin Nordin. So how do we write his name? Try and see how do we write his name? How do we write Mr. Zaidi, uh, uh, Zaidi's name? Try and see. Put it in the chat box. How do you write his name? Now Malay name follows the same rule as Indian names, but don't put the bin. Okay, so you don't put B there. Okay, so try write his name in. Try write his name. Muhammad Zaidi is his name. Nordin is his father's name. Bin we don't usually don't include. Like anak lelaki, anak perempuan, daughter of, son of, we don't include. Alright, so how do you write his name? Okay, chat box on your right, down below. Come on, Zaidi bin Muhammad Zaidi is T Q O people. Muhammad Zaidi N. Okay, Muhammad Zaidi comma N. Now you are right. Now this one. Who uh, who is hello? I'm not sure who is hello. Okay, so this one, two people. 
Nope. Okay, so this one is correct. Okay, whoever hello is, you're right. Okay, so it's supposed to be like this. M-O-H-D, Mohammed, dot, Zaidi. Okay, comma. Okay, comma, N. Like that. Okay, Mohammed, Zaidi, comma, N. Then, another comma. Now, this one is like my name. Okay, this one is my name. This one is Chinese name, but with English name. So, how should we write Wilson's name? Wilson's name, how should we write? Chinese with English name. So his name, how should we write? Try put it in the chat box. How do you write this one? Chinese name with English, uh, Chinese with English name. So how will Wilson's name look like? In a, uh, in a quotation form or in a reference list form. We start with the surname first, okay? Wilson WWS, which is very good. Okay, no, nope, not Wei Shen. Okay, because he has an English name. Okay, we take the surname first. Nope. Okay, not Wilson Low WS because his uh, his English name is the first name. We always take the surname first. Okay, so it's Low, comma. Okay, Low, comma. W W S as in Wilson Wei Shen. Okay, so again, uh, low comma Wilson Wei Shen. Like that. Okay, so low comma Wilson Wei Shen. Okay, another comma. Ah, uh, then this one. Ah, uh, then, then this one. Low Junyan. Very easy. We've done it already. So low comma J Y. Okay. Another comma. Now this one. Okay, now this one is what? Japanese name. So Japanese name, what do we do? Do Japanese have surnames like us? Yes, they do. Okay, Japanese, Koreans, they have surname like us. So Japanese is this one. Hakamada K. Okay, Hakamada comma K. Alright, and then after that is what? Okay, after that another Asian name. Okay, another Asian Chinese name is M%. Percent. Ho, comma, Y, A. Like that. Yes, Hakamada K. Yijing, you're right. All right. So, Ho, and M percent, Ho, Y, A. Okay. And after that, when is this, so when is this written? 2016, the year. Okay. 2016, the year. Okay. Comma, again. Then, okay, open quotation. The journal, the, the, the journal, the, the article title, huh? Open quotation. So the impact okay, of United Express, because United Express is a brand name, uh, it's a company name. So that's why you, you, you put it up there. Flight 3411's over booking debacle on the company's Public relations like that. Okay. Dot closing quotations. After that, comma. Okay. So you put that. Okay. You put the journal title in. Then you put the journal name. Journal name is what? Journal of Commercial Aviation. Remember, italics. Journal of. Commercial aviation. Okay. After that, and italics, comma again. Then it's what? Volume. Okay, then it's volume number. Volume. Okay, volume one. Sorry. Volume one. Okay. Volume one issue number. Issue number three. Comma. Page PP dot six two. 12. Done. Okay? Again, uh, for journal, okay, always put the author's name first. Author's name, don't be confused. Alright? Don't be confused because I know it's I, I know it's a little bit difficult, especially with Asian names, especially with Malay names and Indian names. Alright? So don't be confused regarding this. Alright? So remember Malay names and Indian names are follow the same rule. They don't have a they don't have a surname per se. They only have their first name. 
All right. So the rest you just put it as the the, the, the you just the rest you just put it at the back. All right. So in this case, Muhammad Zaidi bin Nordin is Muhammad Zaidi. You don't put the bin. You don't put the anak lelaki. You don't put the anak perempuan. Or you put you don't put the binti. You just put Z Muhammad Zaidi comma n. Okay. After that, you just proceed as normal. All right. So after that, okay, will be the year that is published comma open quotation. Okay. Open quotation. The journal title. Okay, the the, the uh, sorry the, the article title. Okay, don't italics uh, Okay, you open quotation. You put here. Okay, close quotation, comma journal name. Journal name italics. Okay, see it in see. Okay, and then you follow the capitalization volume, issue and page. Volume number, issue number, then page. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Next would be well, any questions. If any question, I know this is difficult. Okay, I know this is quite difficult. So if you have any questions, just put it in the chat box. Okay, yeah, just put it in the chat box or uh, down below or to the right. All right. Now next will be websites. Uh, next will be websites. Now websites is a bit difficult. Okay. Now now websites is a bit unclear. Okay, because certain websites, you say website, how many author, how many authors? Okay, you say oh, it's just a website name. Okay, it's just a website name. So you have to look at it. Okay, you have, you have to look at it uh, very, very carefully. All right, so let's take a look at this website. This website's title is this one. Sometimes, when you say, oh, when I talk about this copy, I copy the address or the address reference this. Cannot. This is, not the, the, this is not the way to do it. All right, so if you, have your, if you have your Harvard referencing guide with you, you can refer to the one that is in the website. All right. So usually the first one, okay, the usually the first one is the website name or the author. Okay, but in this case, author isn't there. Okay, 没有作者. Okay, you you type it down. You 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 don't know you don't know who wrote that thing. So it's okay. In website, you can skip it. Okay, website you can skip it. You straight away go into the title. Okay, straight away go into the title. The title is what? T. Okay, no see it and see Okay, you see it and see. So the title is TPPA's okay, repeal. Okay, TPPA's repeal. Okay, its impact on Southeast Asia's SMEs. Okay, okay. after that, what? After that, the year, the year that it was published, the year that was published, the year that was published, uh, not the year viewed, uh, year viewed, uh, date viewed, just in the website, date published, the article, 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 article, the 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 article, then after that is the website name. Okay, website name. Website name is Economics Daily. Okay, Economics Daily. Okay, comma. Then you have to viewed where? 几时你找到这个东西? Okay, 几时你找到那个 website. So it's viewed. Okay, where are you? Sorry, yeah, I almost typed inside the chat. Okay, I almost typed inside the chat. Okay. So viewed. This is viewed 13 April 2017. Viewed 2017. After that, you kai tika. Okay, ni parentheses. But you tika shop the shop the. Okay. Pusa tika, it's not this one, huh? Okay, it's not this one, open bracket, it's not this one, it's parentheses, this one. Right, sharp the okay, okay, open and then you copy and paste this thing here. You put the URL here. Okay, you put the URL here and close. Okay, of course, this say or this say reference this or see okay, you remove hyperlink. Okay, you remove it. So the color the, 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 the color returns. Sorry, you have to remove this hyperlink. Like this. Okay, this copy as a whole. Okay, when you copy, you can uh, the, the reference list cannot be in color. It must be black and white. Okay, after that, end it with a dot. Ish. Okay, sometimes Microsoft Word does things to you. All right, so you have to repair it back. Okay. 
So websites is like this. Any questions? Okay, so next will be another website. Now this website now has offers. Okay, if this website has offers, you follow the same. Okay, offer the And then how the title you push it back. Okay, so it becomes like this. Now this one is all Ang Mo Ming Okay, so it's supposed to be very easy. So this one is Rider is a surname. Okay, Rider, comma, S A, comma. Okay, asterisk, comma, B. Okay. M percent Lieberman comma M when 这个东西几时出的? 这个东西是2014 because they published ma? okay they published 2014 alright so comma 2014 comma okay after that the title you have to what the title you have to put in italics so title is what how whoa 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 Okay, the title italics okay is how to fund your start up. Alright. Okay. okay, you after you italics, alright, you close off your italics, then you put comma. Okay, comma. And after that would be what? Okay, after that will be the website name. In this case, okay, in this case, website name is SourceFed. Okay, SourceFed, comma. Okay, then you have to put your view. View 21st March 2016. Okay, 2016, comma. Okay, after that you put your URL in. You put your URL in. Okay? Clear? Actually, it's easy. Okay, if let's say you practice more, okay, after you practice more, uh, you, you, read the, you, you, you read the manual more, you read the uh, Harvard Referencing Guide more, okay, it's actually quite easy to do. Uh, it's actually quite easy. Okay? Any questions so far? Any questions? So far, so good. Any questions? It's going to be quite complicated. Lah. So if let's say you cannot follow, okay, if let's say you cannot follow this, okay, make sure you read this. Yeah, I know, EJ, a lot of things, okay, a, a, a lot of things to do, okay. So make sure you, you, you are... Um, Make sure you know how, make sure you have this. Uh, make sure you have this with you. Okay, make sure you have this with you so you can read. Okay, so you can read and refer to because this is going to be super, super important in your VU studies when you, when you go into your VU studies in July. Alright, that's why I have to teach you all of this. Okay, I prefer to teach you guys in class because this one I can really show you and then I can ask all of you to go up to the front and show you how to do it. Okay, but I have no choice but to do this online. So that's why you guys have to do this on your own already at this point. So I'm teaching you the basics. If you forget, okay, 如果你忘记的话, or you clear, okay, or, or 讲的东西, after this, okay, after this live stream end, you can always go back. Okay, you can always go back to my YouTube channel, look at the video, and see how I do it and follow on. Okay, that's why I hope that you guys have this thing with you. Okay, so uh, you guys can uh, do this on your own. Okay, and do this on your own. Okay? So far, so good? Any questions? Now, if there are no questions, okay, if there are no questions, sure, no questions, huh? All right, if there are no questions, then I would like to pull your attention to this. Okay, remember, any questions, just, okay, any questions, just put it, uh, just, just put it in the chat box, I'll try my best to answer, okay? 
the comma after the book is italic. No, the comma after the book name is not italic. Okay, a book name after is italic. No. Okay, the comma no italic. Huh? Okay, any commas no italic. Okay, the italics is not at the comma. The italics is usually at the title. Okay, not the comma. Okay. But when it's written, if let's say it's written, you just write it little bit. Okay, if it's typed, okay, then you just put italics on it. Okay, so far so good. Now, next would be your midterm listening test. Okay, by right, I should do this in campus. Okay, I by right I should do this in campus with the audio there. But no, our government has to you know extend C, uh, uh, MCO again and again and again. So I have to do this online. It took me like five days to get the system correct, okay, to get the system right. So finally, I got it right. It's uh, I, I'm I'm still tweaking. I'm I'm still seeing uh, what, what are the technical issues that could uh, that, that that could arise. Okay, so I'm gonna be giving you a few practice before this before the actual test day. All right, I'm gonna be giving you a few practice. On your uh, on the WhatsApp group, okay. Once it's ready, I'll put it there. Alright, so you guys can try a few practice before you go into your actual test first. Alright, so when is the test? The test will be this Thursday, thirtieth April, twenty twenty. Alright, and at the time it's gonna be one hour only. Okay, twelve p.m. to one p.m. Okay, so let me check. Uh, I have eight people who are watching this live right now. So if let's say I'm, I'm gonna be uh, telling you guys in WhatsApp again. So those of you, um, th th those of you who miss this live stream will be able to be updated. All right. So it's only one hour. Okay, and it's online, and it's fifteen percent of the coursework mark. One five, fifteen percent, and it's advisable to complete it on your computer, laptop, or tablet. Okay, don't do this on your phone. Okay, if uh, it, it's you can if you want to. Okay, but it's it's gonna be difficult because you keep strolling up and down. Okay, and then if let's say it lags a little bit, okay, you're gonna be wasting time because you're going to answer online. Yes, fifteen percent. I know. Okay, but uh, total marks is forty five lah. Okay, fifteen percent of the coursework mark, but it's actually forty five marks. Okay, the the there the are forty five questions. Okay, there are forty five questions. Okay, so one question is one mark. Okay, there are, so it's 45 marks actually, there are 45 questions there. Uh, there are 8 sections, okay, there are 8 sections, they, uh, each section would have... Uh, okay, there, there, it's about, there, there are 8 sections, okay, there are 8 sections and each section is 5 marks except for 1. Section E, uh, section e is uh, 10 marks. Okay, other than that, it's all 5 marks, 5 marks, 5 marks, so, so 5 questions each, alright? So it's going to be, this 50, 45 marks is going to be converted to 15% of your coursework mark, all right? So advisable to use your computer, tablet, or your uh, laptop, okay? Don't do this, or try your best not to do this on your phone, okay? Because your phone, if you scroll up and down, something may go wrong, okay? You may press certain things that sh should not be pressed, okay? Then everything goes haywire. Because you can only take this once, okay? You can only submit the test once. You cannot, like... Click submit ready, then go back to change your answer. No. Okay, you can change your answer before you click submit. Okay, each section is going to be next, 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 and next. Okay, but the, the next one, you can still go back. Okay, this one I have to tell you first. Okay, I have to tell you. When you do the test, okay, each section is going to be one page on your own. So after you do section A, you press next, it will go to section B. But if you want to go back to section A, you can still press back. Okay, you can still press back to go back. Alright, so uh, 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 so you all of you know uh, okay, this uh, you, you do the listening test, one section is one page. Alright, so you do one section, let's say you do one section A, you click next, okay, it will go to another section. But you still can press back, you still can press the back on the form, uh, not back at your browser, uh, not your browser the back, uh, the form is your back. Uh. Okay, you press back, okay, you can still go back to the previous page. You can go the previous page before and try to do so you you can skip a few questions and come back and forth but the thought of the last section there is a confirmation page there's a submission page all right like a submission page will have two button because submit because back you will see okay you, you will see later when i give you guys the practice okay just submit because back if let's say you click submit you will submit the whole thing out okay i will ask you guys uh, okay the, the the final page is going to be are you sure you want to submit Okay, the, the, the confirmation page. You are sure 
then uh, they, then you click something. If you're not sure, you still want to check your answers, click back. Okay, click back and check your answers, and go. You can go back. Okay, you can go back to the previous section and check your answers. So you can actually replay the audio again and again, but you only have one hour. So if you replay it again and again and again, okay, you may miss out certain questions. So it's up to you, Okay, in the uh, in the college, if you're, let's say we are in class, I will play the audio only twice. Okay, but by default, the audio is really playing twice. But if you want to pause lah, you want to like take down notes, like this and that, it's completely up to you. Okay, but it's only okay. I, I'm only going to give you one hour for this. Twelve to one only. Okay, and then the link will be shared on the day of the test itself. Okay, like eleven fifty five or eleven fifty something. I'll put it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'll I'll put it in the WhatsApp group or uh, yeah, I'll put it in the WhatsApp group. So you just click on it, and then I don't know lah. Maybe I'll put it in WhatsApp group. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on Island also, okay? So you guys can do this on your laptops or whatnot. But I think uh, laptops, you can open up WhatsApp, right? So I'll put it in the WhatsApp group, all right? <laughs> I think someone's going to press the submit button when doing the test, perhaps. Um, well, then uh, before you press, the, the submit button is right at the end, okay? It's right at the end. So you have to go through all of the sections first. You have to go through all of the sections before you press submit. Okay, there's a next. Okay, if let's say you uh, if let's say you answer section A, it's the, the button is next, not submit. Okay, submit is right at the end. Okay, it's at the last page. Okay, after after the last section. After the last section, okay, you press next, it will go to a confirmation page. Alright, go, go to a confirmation page before, and then I'll give you a choice. If uh, are you sure, yes or no? If yes, then you can submit. If no, you will go back to the previous page. Alright. So the technical, uh, I'm still working. Uh, I'm still testing it out. Okay, but for uh, last as of this morning when I tested out, no problems. Okay, no problems on my end lah. Okay, but I have to ask other people to test also. Okay, just to show that there is no um thing. Alright. So. Uh, to, to, uh, to make sure the spirit of the test is on, yes, I will give you practice regarding this test. Don't worry. Okay, I'll be sharing. I'll, I'll be sharing the link to a few tests that I do with the same system with you guys. So all of you will be able. All of you will be able to get yourself used to the system. Okay, don't worry. I will give you guys practice tests. Okay, that one you don't have to worry. All right. So I will not accept any submissions after one p.m. Okay, 1 p.m. is the deadline. So if let's say I receive the submission 101, I will give you zero because it's over time. Okay, so I will share the link 1255. Okay, so all of you will have access to the link. And then uh, actually I will share the link 1250. I'll give you guys about 10 minutes. Okay, 10, 10 minutes just to get uh, your, your technical issues sorted out. So uh, make sure you guys are online. Okay, on uh, make sure you guys are online on Thursday, like way before 12 p.m. Okay, don't 12 p.m. then want to come chung, come chung, do the test. No, if let's say you do that, you will definitely not enough time. All right, so like 11.30 like that. Okay, 11.30 like that, just be ready on your computer or on your tablet, on your laptop, whatnot. Test the internet connection, make sure it is stable. Okay, then uh, do the test. All right, only one hour after 1 p.m., no more submission. Okay, if you submit the test 101, I'll give you zero. Okay, 101, 1 p.m., one minute, I'll give you zero. I will not accept any more submissions after 1 p.m. Clear? Okay, clear? Don't worry, okay, I will let you guys practice with the system of, uh, I will let you guys practice before you guys take this test, okay, on Thursday. So maybe tonight I will get the system, uh, I'll get the practice questions up, I will let you, I will share the link with you guys, alright? So that's midterms, okay, clear? Now, next is also, next I want to share is your assignment 2, report and vlog, it's about 30%. All right, so I've already given you guys the assignment task sheet, uh, assignment task sheet on the WhatsApp group. Okay, so I want you guys to refer to that. Okay, I want you guys to refer to that, but I will display it out lah. Okay, I'll display it out for you guys. Okay, so this assignment is thirty percent. Okay, and the due date is 29th of May. You have about one month to do this, okay? A approximately one month, uh, one month plus. Uh, okay, yeah, one month. Tw today is 28, tomorrow is 29. All right, so you guys will have one month to do this. Now, on uh, uh, sorry, typo here. So this one, th this one is actually no. Okay, this one don't have. Uh, okay, this one, uh, no, 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 no. Ignore this one. 
okay, this one is an individual assignment because supposedly your group, uh, supposedly assignment two is a group assignment, but because MCO, we cannot see each other, it's impossible to, it's impossible to do uh, a group assignment, all right? So this one is individual assignment, all right? So the assignment test sheet may say it's group, but it's actually an individual assignment, all right? So you have two tasks. Task one is an essay, 10%. Okay, so I want you guys to write a reflective essay on the effects of the MCO on the Malaysian economy. All right, so the MCO, uh, the, the, the MCO has affected the Malaysian economy quite a lot. The SMEs cannot, uh, cannot open up, can, cannot open up business. Quite a number of people cannot open up business. All right, that's why a lot of people are in trouble. All right, so I want you to do some research from various resources, newspapers, online articles. Okay, on the effects on the movement control order on Malaysia and the world's economy. Okay, so, so this one is your own opinion. Okay, of course, I'm citing other sources. Lah. So the, the, the references that I've taught just now, okay, please apply it here. Okay, please apply it in this assignment, like according to the star or whatever. Okay, so you read up online, okay, and put it here. Now, a question that uh, I anticipate is, can you use information from Chinese newspapers or Chinese websites? Yes, you can, but translate it for me, please. Okay, don't say that. Uh, don't, don't say that. According to Xinzhou, uh, Xinzhou Ripao, and then you put the Chinese text there. No. Okay, you translate it for me. Okay, you translate the text, you put it into your assignment. And it's 1,500 words. Okay, so it's 1,500 word report on the effects on the MCO of Malaysia and the world's economy. And also suggest a few solutions. Okay, for the struggling businesses to overcome the tough economic conditions after the MCO. Okay, so I want you guys to write 1,500 words on the effects on the MCO on Malaysia's economy, on the world's economy, and I want you to suggest ways or how they overcome this after the MCO. All right, so I think there's a lot of things to write, surely over 1,500 words. Okay, so of course, any questions, you can WhatsApp me, you can email me, put it in the chat. Or whatnot, or you can put it at the comments in the YouTube video later on. Now, this one is the second task, it's 20%. Okay, and then I want you to do a vlog on a new skill or an activity you try to do during the movement control order. Okay, so I want you guys to do a vlog. You guys know what is a vlog, right? You guys can go, you, you guys can go uh, to online and look for vlogs. Okay, a look of vlogs, how to make a vlog. Okay, and then you, you, you don't have to have a fancy camera, you can just use your phone. Okay, you can you just use your phone and record yourself. Okay, record yourself. Of course, that thing has to be in English. Lah. Okay, so uh, because I want to test your speaking skills, okay? So during the MCO from 18 March all the way until today, we have a, we, so far March, April, it's, it's like two months. Okay, March, April, we have two, three months on MCO already. So we uh, most probably you have tried a new activity or you tried something new. You tried baking, okay, you tried making bass cheesecake, you tried making the Dalgona coffee, you made a TikTok, or you you, you tried something new la, basically. Alright, so uh, you, you, uh, you, you played a new game, okay, if let's say you played Final Fantasy VII Remake, okay, you played a new game, show me, make a vlog, tell me. Okay, tell me your thoughts and feelings of the MCO and the uh, and the COVID nineteen situation. Okay, so make a vlog. Tell me your feelings. Tell me your opinions. Tell me your thoughts on the MCO and the COVID nineteen situation. All right. After that, showcase the activity or some the skill that you have acquired during this time. So if let's say you try Dalgona coffee, maybe you have to film yourself and say, okay, this is how you make Dalgona coffee. All right. First, do this, do this. So introduce it like vlog style, lah, basically. Okay, so understand it. Uh, understand what am I trying to say? Uh, okay, basically, now to like a vlog. You try to sleep whole day, huh? Cannot be lah. Okay, you, you, you cannot like sleep from two months, right? Sure, surely you have uh, sh surely you have done like you watch videos, okay, you watch dramas, watch a movie. Alright, so if let's say you watch drama, uh, okay, you can even make a vlog about that drama. Okay, you can even make a vlog about the drama and say, okay, let's say you watch Kingdoms. Okay, let's say you watch Kingdoms and then you tell me, lah, okay, what, the, what, what Kingdoms is about, do you like it or not, what is it about, what is your favourite scene, what is your least favourite scene, who is your favourite character, or whatnot, just introduce. Okay, make a vlog on the whole situation. Okay, so if you played a game, okay, uh, make a vlog about that game. Okay, if you tried baking, if you tried cooking, okay. So, yeah, I mean, 
this is the best I can come up with. La. I mean, if let's say we are not in MCO, I would have brought you guys to Iskandar, somewhere Iskandar, and then you guys are going to do a lot of things there. But no choice, all right? No choice. By the time our MCO is predicted to end, I'm, we are we are actually predicting after after Raya, you know, after Raya break, they will lift the MCO. That means starting early June, okay. But early June, we have no more time. So if let's say I I cannot even bring you guys to Iskandar anymore, so what can I do? Can I give you guys another estimate? Cannot lah. We have another thirty percent to cover. That's why I have no choice, okay. Uh, and then I need to assess your speaking abilities, okay. So far, our things have only been listening, reading, and writing. No speaking. So this is my only chance to be able to assess uh, your speaking skills. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, Miyazaki, is it? Uh, is it the is it the what, uh, what Studio Ghibli one? Is it like the what Spirited Away? What are uh, Totoro? What uh, my, my my neighbor Totoro? Princess Mononoke? Is it is it is he from Studio Ghibli? Is it? Ghibli or whatever. Okay, but uh, if, even if you watch a lot of movies, if you watch a lot of dramas and whatnot, make a vlog about that. Okay, make a vlog about that. Right? So you have you can upload your videos on YouTube or share privately with me on OneDrive. Alright? Deadline, of course, 29 May. Alright? Because even after uh, e even after the MCO is lifted, okay, even after um, MCO is lifted, I don't think we can return to campus that fast, okay, because the the, the, the campus have to clean, do a lot of cleaning, implement social distancing measures and whatnot. So even after the MCO is lifted, I think we're gonna come back after, all right. So yeah, if you play Resident Evil remake, make a make a video of it. Okay, make a video. I, I played it finished. Okay, I played it finished. Yes, it's very, very nice. Okay, it's very, very nice. Okay, uh, game over a few times, but you know, I, I, I played it finished. So make a video of it. Okay, make, make a, you, a review of it. Okay, make, film yourself uh, playing the game. If you play Pokemon, Pokemon Go, film yourself playing it. And I'll give your thoughts and opinions about that. All right? Any questions so far? This is by far the longest live stream because there's a lot of things to unpack. Okay, if you if you watch Power Rangers, yeah, just tell me. Okay, just just, just tell me. Make a vlog about that. All right. So, any questions so far? Any questions? Now, if there are no questions, if if there are further questions, you can uh, put it in the comments in the video. Okay, or uh, WhatsApp me. Okay, email me or what. All right. So, if there are no more questions, thank you guys so so much. This is the longest live stream ever. Two hours long. Okay, but I think it's needed, okay, because there's a lot of things to unpack. We've missed so many classes, and then the MCO is just destroying our plans, all right? So remember, any other questions, put it in the chat box down below, all right? Or even uh, put it in the chat box down below, uh, put it in the comments, WhatsApp me, or what, all right? So thank you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys again soon, all right? Bye-bye.